It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor of Mankind has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. He is the master of mankind by the will of the gods, and master of a million worlds by the might of his inexhaustible armies. He is a rotting carcass, writhing invisibly with power from the dark age of technology. He is the carrion lord of the vast imperium of man for whom a thousand souls are sacrificed every day so that he may never truly die. Yet even in his deathless state, the Emperor continues his eternal vigilance. Mighty battlefields cross the demon-infested miasma of the warp, the only route between distant stars, their way lit by the Astronomicon, the psychic manifestation of the Emperor's will. Vast armies give battle, in his name, on uncounted worlds. Greatest among his soldiers are the Adeptus Astartes, the Space Marines, bioengineered super soldiers. Their comrades in arms are Legion, the Imperial Guard, and countless planetary defense forces, the ever vigilant Inquisition, and the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus, to name only a few. But for all their multitudes, they are barely enough to hold off the ever present threat to humanity from aliens, heretics, mutants and far, far worse. To be a man in such times is to be one among untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. These are the tales of those times. Forget the power of technology and science, for so much has been forgotten never to be relearned. Forget the promise of progress and understanding. For in the grim, dark future, there is only war. There is no peace among the stars, only an eternity of carnage and slaughter, and the laughter of thirsting gods.